We recently reviewed the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1 9575 in silver, but if you remember, I also mentioned it came in black. Well, I ordered one up just to take a look, and today I'm going to show you what it looks like. Stay tuned. All right, let's talk a little bit about what Dell is doing here. So for the last few years, the company's finally experimenting with doing different colors. So instead of the standard silver with the XPS 13, we went to gold and then rose gold. And now this year we have that awesome option with the white and gold variables, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. And it's just a really nice color choice. Now with the XPS 15 2-in-1, that also comes in silver, but there is a black version, which we have here. It's actually called Brushed Onyx, and it's a brushed metal, which is a different texture from the standard silver. And as you can see here, it looks really nice. It just has a more texture to it. Now I wanna be clear, what Dell is doing here is they're doing a top cover and a bottom cover, which are completely different. They also replace the screws on the bottom, and the hinges themselves go from silver to black too. So they didn't really just do a a simple cosmetic change here, it's the whole device. And it looks very different from the standard Dell Silver that we're all accustomed to. But I like the little details that they've done here with the screws and the hinges. I think it looks nice. And when you open up the device itself, well, it looks pretty normal. You're still gonna get the carbon fiber interior, and in fact, you can't tell the difference when you're using it. But that little two-tone effect, you still see that silver edge coming through. I think it looks really nice. It gives that just a little bit of contrast. Even the Dell logo itself is now black and a little bit shiny. It's very muted, so if you don't like advertising your laptops with a bright, bold logo, well, you're gonna probably like this model a lot. But I kinda like it here. Plus, it's also the opposite of what Lenovo is doing. Lenovo has all black laptops, but some of their ThinkPads now have silver. Now you may be asking yourself, all right, so what's the deal? How do I order this up? So you can only get it through Dell's website and they're not even really advertising, which kind of bothers me a bit. It's one of the reasons I want to show you guys this one. I thought it was really interesting, but they haven't really given much coverage and I haven't seen anyone else do it either. So if you go to Dell's website, you have to choose the last model. It's the Core i7, the high end one. So it starts at 2199. And when you start to go through the configuration process, you can add in the black brushed onyx for an extra $50. So it's also gonna probably delay your ordering time by a couple of days as they custom make these. I should point out, you can only get this with the Core i7 4K model with 16 gigs of RAM. So this is strictly the high-end version. The only choice you're gonna have is for storage, which ranges from 256 gigs up to one terabyte. So that's gonna be your only choice. I'm not sure why Dell is doing that, why they couldn't offer this on the lower-end version, or why they're not even advertising it. It's a little bit frustrating, but I think it's absolutely worth it. I think this device looks fantastic in black, and I think more people are gonna like it too. Now, I know what you're asking. What about the XPS 15 9570? That is the regular standard XPS 15 laptop. Dell did show that in black when they first announced it as well, saying that too would be an option, but they have since pulled back on that promise and it will only be available in silver. So I don't know if this is a production problem or something else that's going on, but for some reason, this generation, it will only be available in silver. So if you want a black Dell XPS 15, it's only the 9575 that you can get it in, and you'll have to custom order it for an extra 50 bucks. So there's a quick look at the Dell XPS 15 9575 in black. Let me know in comments if you like this design and if you think Dell should be offering it in more of their laptops. If you like this video, give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, buddy.